Show. Brought to you by your local Coca-Cola bottlers. For real refreshment, Coke is it. By Frito-Lay, maker of Lay's and Ruffles brand potato chips. And by Pony Shoes, when sports are more than just a game. And now here's the athletic director and head football coach of the University of Alabama, Ray Perkins. Needless to say, it was a great victory for our football team over Penn State yesterday. And I'm very proud of our squad for a great overall team effort. And that's exactly what it was. I'd like to think of it as a family effort because I'd like to thank the crowd at this time for getting behind our football team and being a very, very excited, enthusiastic crowd, and especially our student body. Our defense played a great football game. I don't think you could ask a defensive team to play any sounder than our team did yesterday a good sound kicking game, and our offense moved the ball when we had to, made some, made some plays when we had to make them, and time of possession was a key factor there in complementing our defense and doing what it took when we had to do it to get the ball game won. Let's take a look at the first quarter. We elect to defer our choice to the second half, and they, uh, they take the football naturally, and they come, out, uh, they come out with a little counter play, I think the first play here, the fullback and pick up seven eight, uh, seven, eight big yards. They made some plays on our defense, but uh, I tell you, when they got the ball across the 50 a couple of times or a few times that they did, that's when our defense really uh, really bowed their neck and played, uh, played tough, aggressive defense. We were flying around all over the field all day from the word go. We felt like it was very important for us to get started very early and then carry it all the way through the football game in all three phases. And just, uh, and just really stay after them. We played a lot of people. We wanted to do that. And uh, we got that done. And I think everybody that got out on the field had an awful lot of fun. In fact, I think everybody on the sideline had a lot of fun. We dressed 91, 91 players for the game. And uh, that's the most that we've dressed all year. Uh, here's Vince Sutton uh, on a third down play, overshooting the tight end, Preston Gothard there. Uh, he was just talking with him in the dressing room after the game. He was a little nervous there. Uh, <laughs> A little nervous there early in the game. They will make a make a good play. Here's uh, Marvin Humphreys, one of our young outside linebackers, making a great play on on Dozier. They're great running back, and I thought our defense contained him very very well. There's Kurt Jarvis almost getting himself an interception from the nose guard spot. <clears throat> Just miss uh, miss a little pitch. Need to get it up a little bit there. A little sprint out play here that uh, that helped us make uh, three or four plays during the game uh, with Vince Sutton rolling out. Uh, Nice to see Joe Namath at the game. Uh, he came down. I had talked with him earlier in the week, and, and uh, he came out to practice uh, Friday and said hello to the squad. We had some uh, some more of our great fan, uh, fans. The Oak Ridge boys was was also at the game, and it was real good to see them. It's really good to see a lot of the parents of our players uh, at the game after after the game, rather to dorm and, and have a chance to to visit with them. We don't get that many chances during the course of the football season. But uh, I thought our kicking game was, was real good. This is one time we should have fielded the ball uh, on a punt, but we had a couple of times during the game where we had uh, a little bit of a misjudgment or, or, or a poor decision as far as fielding a kick. Here's draw play and Ricky Moore. Ricky uh, didn't play most of the second half. The reason he didn't is that at the end of the first half, he had, he had uh, gotten a little bit of a hip pointer, a uh, bruise on his, on his left hip. Uh, here's Doug Allen, one of our freshmen running backs, and Chester Bags there earlier. I thought Chester played extremely well throughout the game when he was in there, and we finished up the first quarter 0-0. Coming up next, Coach Ray Perkins and second quarter highlights. As we start the second quarter, I might say that this was a... Uh, this is a game that reminds you of one of those old-time defensive battles. You don't see games like this very much anymore, where uh, both teams are just playing great defense, and it's hard uh, to get the offenses on track and get something going. I think in this second quarter, we exchange. There's a big hit by Freddie Robinson there uh, after the reception by one of their receivers, but uh, uh, this was a very hard-hitting, a very aggressive uh, football game. Here's an interception, big play by Cornelius Bennett there. But uh, defensively, uh, both sides of the football were playing well, and uh, it was just one of those games. In the second quarter, we exchanged a field goal 
uh, tries here, and both uh, both wind up being misses. Though was ours by Dan Tiffin, just just barely miss. He's gonna make uh, a lot more than he misses though, and he's gonna win a lot of football games for us by kicking field goals. He has real good coverage downfield by our defensive man uh, Lewis Dean, uh, one of our corners there, one of our young corners, and uh, our defense is really playing well, and it's uh, it's really gratifying to see your players go out there and just uh, hoop and holler and and fly around and play with reckless abandon and, and just have a good time. And I guarantee you that's exactly what they did. Here's Chester Braggs making some tough yards up the middle again. Here's the sprint out play that we talked about earlier, putting uh, Greg Richardson over on the sideline uh, for a good gainer. But uh, here's Chester Braggs again. I was real glad to see Chester get in and do real good. Played him primarily in the first half, and then we come back in the second half. Here's a reverse. And, Real heads-up play by their defensive man. They just did a great job of defensing it on that particular play. It was something we felt like we could make a big play out of. Here's Preston Gothard playing the whole way with some bruised ribs. <coughs> Here's Doug Allen making a reception. Uh, Vince Sutton delivering the football to him. Here's one here. We all we tip it right there, and then he bobbles it. And Cornelius Bennett runs him down from the backside. Cornelius Bennett played a super ball game, but I. We had quite a few people on the defensive side that just played absolutely great. And, uh, all of them played great together as a team, and we wind up at halftime. That was their big old miss that hit the uprights and, and bounces back out, which is which was real good to see. And I think it gave us a little boost going in at halftime. We go in nothing, nothing at the half. As we come back out for the second half, uh, naturally we take the football and uh, going to be on offense first. And as we came out, I want to mention again how much uh, our team and how much uh, we as a staff and myself appreciate uh, the crowd just getting behind our football team in a great fashion. And I tell you, the electricity in the air that was provided by the crowd and by our great fans, and especially our student body, uh, carried us a, a lot of, a long way and, and it helped our momentum. We came out the second half. I think our players at halftime were very confident that we'd go out and play a 30-minute ball game and win it. And uh, we just went back out and had a lot of fun for 30 minutes, and that's exactly what, uh, what we did. But uh, it was still a defensive battle, and it looks like it's going to be a defensive battle all the way right down to the wire. We felt like if we could keep it tight and going into the fourth quarter, we could win it there. And uh, our defensive team just, I can't say enough about it, uh, but our offensive team, about four occasions, uh, got the ball out of, out of being in a backed-up position. 8-yard uh, line, 15-yard line, 11-yard line uh, with our backs to the wall. Here's a real good defensive play by Britton Cooper. We got three guys uh, surrounding their receiver downfield. Our secondary played exceptionally well, I think. But uh, it was a fairly clean ball game. Wasn't very many penalties. I think we only had two penalties for 13 yards, uh, which is real good. One of the things that we've been working real hard on trying to eliminate. Here's Don Horstead on the draw play up the middle. Does some real good... Uh, Hard running. I think this next play here is a little toss to the strong side. Gets it turned up, feel real good right here. It's a big first down. But uh, mentioning our offense, uh, getting us out of a hole. It was a field position type game. Uh, any defensive game is a field position game. And uh, that requires an offense to get the ball out of the hole. So if the opposing defense does stop it, you can punt the ball and, and back the opposing offense up. Here's a real good uh, play on their part. We had real good coverage, but they just make a good throw and uh, catch. Here's Dozier. Watch this move here. <laughs> Puts a real good move on our defensive man, Lewis Dean, but he's going to do that to a lot of people. He's a great running back, and any time you contain him like our defense did yesterday, you've done a day's work. But uh, we're just awfully proud of all of our players for the great job that they did with the intensity with which they uh, played the game. Here's almost an interception. Uh, uh, Freddie Robinson, I'm sure, uh, feels like he should have had, a, had an interception there because he hit him right in the chest, I think. But uh, I think both kicking games are real good. This is one of those plays where uh, we would have liked to have let the ball go on a judgment type thing uh, anytime it's going to be in back of the 10-yard line. But we get it out of here. Uh, this is one of those uh, four times that I was talking about where the offense uh, pushes it right on out of minus territory and does a real good job with it. But we've uh, shown a lot of improvement, a little flare pass out to Paul Cruz, and he does a real good job of picking up his blockers and picking up a big big first down. And we end up the uh, third quarter just like we did the first two, 0-0. Uh, 
Going into the fourth quarter here, I think it's well worth mentioning our staff did a real good job, and uh, we did a real good job of substituting players, like our second offensive line that's in there right now. Uh, probably played uh, a little bit more than our first offensive line. We run them in and out, and we substituted liberally on defense and rolling them so that we can keep them fresh. Here's a big play of the game right here, a 53-yard field goal by Van Tiffin, which set a new school and personal record of his. And uh, I told the team at halftime just before we came back out, hey, we just get three points, we win the game, because I don't think our defense is going to allow them to score a touchdown, certainly. And they hadn't even got it uh, close enough to get them, uh, get them a field goal on the board. But our defense comes out. We're still fresh. And I think the substitutions in the, in the first three quarters, here's a real good play by our secondary again. There's Paul Tripoli over there breaking up a pass. Here's a draw play. Don Horstead getting some real good yards up in there. And our offense is making some big first downs and moving the ball down the field right now and eating up a lot of the clock uh, now that we've got some points on the board. And here's... Uh, uh, Paul Carruth making a big run, uh, real good blocking out there at the point of attack on the strong side on the sweep. Now we're down there knocking on the door. Uh, we'd really like to get it in for a touchdown right here, which would make it 10 to nothing, uh, which would really put pressure on their, on their offense. They do a real good job of defensing this particular pass that we have. Uh, we do get a field goal out of it, which puts, uh, which puts the pressure on them to have to score a touchdown. And uh, quite frankly, I don't think at this point, uh, no way that uh, they're going to score a touchdown on our defense, not the way we've been playing and not the intensity that we've got and the freshness that we've got. But uh, I just thought it was a, a big game. Here's a little draw play to, to Dozier, a uh, big play by John Hand shooting through the gaps there. And uh, we're just really still playing hard, keeping pressure, real good pressure on the quarterback there. There's a great catch by their receiver. Great concentration on the ball. He bobbled it one time. Breaking through again, John Hand, submarine, and making a big play there for a little loss. And uh, our defense just, just really is just having a lot of fun and just playing great. John Hand had an outstanding game. He's been getting a little bit better and a little bit better each week. And uh, here's a big first down play right here. Now, this is just before the first down play. But right here, where all we want to do is make a first down. Uh, I can't remember exactly how many seconds are on the clock. It's about a minute and a half, a minute and 10 seconds or so. We failed to pick up a first down there on the snake, but uh, our defense is uh, getting back there with a the sack. Here's Emmanuel King, who just had an outstanding game also. And uh, they're, they're back up quarterbacks in the game. <clears throat> big interception to close the game out by Britton Cooper. Real big, uh, real big play right there uh, by Britton Cooper making, making the play on the ball. Uh, on the interception. I don't know who that is laying down. I think it might be Vernon Wilkinson that got uh, a little shook up on the play. Here's the big, uh, here's the big first down, and uh, we just run the clock out. Toss play out to uh, out to Paul Carruth. Now at this point, uh, the clock just uh, it's just a matter of the last two or three seconds ticking off the clock. And again, it was a great victory. It was a great effort by our football team and our staff. And as well, it was a great effort on our fans' part, getting behind our football team and, our, and especially our student body. And we win a big one, one of the biggest that I've ever been associated with as a coach or a player, six to nothing over Penn State, a very fine Penn State football team.